Now, Holiday Park owner has described the government's decision to allow some workers in key roles to skip COVID as a VIP lane. Despite the exemptions, hospitality staff will have to isolate for 10 days if notified by the NHS app, and some tourism businesses say that's unfair. Patrick Langmaid, who runs Mother Ivy's Bay Holiday Park near Padstow, says customers might be asked to help with the cleaning if he loses too many of his staff. Cathy Wardle has more. Today, happy campers were chilling out at Mother Ivy's Bay, but for those behind the scenes, this summer is even more stressful than last year's. We are six pings away from having to close our toilet blocks. That is the reality that we're facing. We've got 900 bookings from touring guests that you can see all around me, and um, people like them. And here at Mother Ivy's, I'm doing my best to save those holidays. The government has released a list of 16 sectors like food supply where staff can now test daily and no longer have to isolate for 10 days, but hospitality isn't on it. We won't take risks with our food supply, that's why we've got a special exemption uh, for them. We know we keep matters under review, but for now we think having this uh, narrower scheme for those other critical sectors is the, the right way to go. For Mr Langmaid, that's not good enough. I tear my hair out. I mean, it's wonderful for the people who can get in the VIP lane and do daily lateral flow testing. I'm very happy to do daily lateral flow testing. I'm already doing it and have been since March. Earlier this month, the Holiday Park wrote to touring campers calling on their Dunkirk spirit, asking if they'd consider helping to clean the toilets here if the site had too many staff isolating. Most responded favourably, willing to get their hands dirty to save their holidays. Reading the details, it was like, yeah, do you know what? We'll put our rubber gloves on and, and sort of muck in. But then also we've got our own facilities on the caravan anyway. So we said, what? we're more than happy to do that. I just think that everybody helps out, it'd be great. And I've got no problem with doing it whatsoever. In terms of it being in exceptional circumstances, sometimes there might be an exceptional solution to the problem. I replied and said I would bring back, bring my marigolds with me and I would um, be happy. I didn't want to miss my holiday. We were meeting up with my friends. We come every year. The so-called pandemic isn't the only challenge facing the industry. This park says it's also been victim to gazumping in the workplace, where businesses are so desperate they're poaching each other's staff. It says there's only so many workers it can lose before it starts closing camping fields as well as lose. Cathy Wardle, ITV News, Padstow.